What's the difference between emotions and emotional intelligence? It can be confusing. Sometimes we hear crying at work is a no-no, but use your emotional intelligence. What the heck does that mean? Many of my clients are confused about the role of emotions in their workplace success. And their confusion stems from a place of misunderstanding about the difference between emotions and emotional intelligence. And not developing your emotional intelligence can really start to hold you back in your career as you start to gain more responsibility and more authority, taking on more leadership. And a lack of developed emotional intelligence can also limit your ability to manage difficult conversation, conflict, and the discomforts that come along with change. So look, look at it. Emotions are emotions. We experience them. We all have them all day, every day. Even when we think we put them aside when we go to the office, we don't. But our emotions are not who we are. Our emotions are aspects of our own experience in each moment. Emotional intelligence is not the emotions themselves. It's our ability to understand our emotions, to understand the emotions of other people, and to know how to respond, not react, in ways that are helpful to everyone involved in any specific situation. So to build your emotional intelligence, don't suppress your emotions at work. Get better at noticing what they are. Allow yourself to feel what you feel without judgment and get curious about what you're feeling. Learn to take a step back from your emotions and answer questions like, what am I feeling? Why am I feeling it? What happened to cause me to feel this way? And what could I do or say or think that would help me feel differently? And when you do this, you'll start to notice how easily and unhelpfully you slip into judging yourself, judging other people, assuming things about other people, assuming others' intent, assuming their emotions, and especially how easy it is to blame other people for your emotional reality. And as you notice these things, gently bring yourself back to focusing on you. Because once you can begin to reliably notice your own feelings without blaming other people, you have a new source of information on which to base decisions and actions. And you can use the same process without judgment and with a lot of curiosity to understand the emotional state of other people. And pretty soon, from understanding your own emotional reality and the emotional reality of other people, you have a new wealth of information upon which to base decisions and actions and behaviors that will affect yourself and everyone around you. You'll make more nuanced decisions that impact yourself and everyone else. At first, it may feel like a lot of navel-gazing, but very quickly, you'll start to realize how much information you're not getting when you're not asking these questions and you're unaware of the emotional state of everyone around you. And that new information is useful to you in a leadership capacity when you want to have an impact and you want to make a difference. So try it. Use it. Build your emotional intelligence. What's your experience? Share in thoughts below. Mm -hmm.